So okay. you have been named the May hero oh. for Community Hospice. As we worked towards figuring out how to plan and execute our first Camp Healing Powers in two years, we had no single person on the bereavement team who knew all the ins and outs, and we had no one person who could stop their regular job and figure it all out and act as camp director. Several staff suggested Emily, and then Emily volunteered to help us with camp. <laughs> Emily had worked closely with the previous camp director over several years of camp and had the most knowledge of all things Camp Healing Powers. Emily filled multiple roles for this camp well beyond her job description. She planned all the activities, planned the schedule, built the activities, and shopped for the extra supplies we didn't already have. She helped me and one of the bereavement staff inventory the camp trailer and closet so we could figure out what we had and what we needed. She taught the bereavement counselors who had not previously done camp what they should do. She amended the volunteer training, which she and I ran together. When we lost our chef, she was instrumental in helping me figure out what to, what to get so we could manage the food on our own. When I returned from my post-camp vacation, <laughs> I also learned that she had already completed the handwritten thank you notes to the staff and volunteers. We hadn't previously discussed who would do that, and I assumed I would complete them when I returned. What a wonderful surprise to find that she'd done them before, leaving on her own vacation. Quite honestly, this camp would not have happened at all if she had not volunteered to help. She did this while working 10-hour days in her regular role as a child life specialist and doing a part-time field placement as part of her MSW program. I have to believe that much of the camp prep happened on her personal time. While I am nominating her under the value of leadership, I believe her work demonstrates a tremendous amount of teamwork and superior service as well. Emily has already committed her talent and time to help plan the fall weekend camp, even though she won't be able to attend and lead at that camp. Emily has exemplified what a leader is at Community Hospice and deserves to be recognized as such.